Moderation Analysis through SPSS How to calculate moderation by using SPSS? At the very first step before running the moderation analysis, we will mean center the values of predictor and moderator. The purpose of mean centering the values of predictor and moderator is to avoid multicollinearity. Let's share the data view of SPSS. In this data, previous exam score is the predictor, study hour is the moderator, current exam score is the dependent variable. So before centering the values of predictor and moderator, first we will find out mean values of both predictor and variable. For this purpose, go to Analyze, Descriptive, Statistics, Descriptive and select the moderator and predictor and shift to variable box, press the button option, uncheck standard deviation, minimum, maximum and only check the mean value, press the button continue, press the button ok, get the output here. In output you will notice study hour, mean is 55.38, previous exam score mean is 69.91. So go to data view, in data view, for centering values, Click Transform, Compute Variable and in Target Variable write here Previous Exam Score. Exam Shift Underscore C for Centering. So the previous exam shift to numeric expression. Insert the minus sign and the mean value of previous exam is 69.91. Press the button OK. Get the output. Command has been executed. Go to data view. Click again. Click transform. Compute variable. Reset. Here you will in target variable you will write study hours underscore C study hours shift to numeric expression minus and the mean value of study hour is 55.38 sorry 55.38 press the button ok command has been executed and again go to data view, click transform, compute variable, now reset. Now you will generate the interaction term previous exam multiplied by study hours. Previous exam, shift to numeric expression, multiplied by study hour, center value. Press the button OK and get the output. Command has been executed. Go to data view, in data view, in data input, here previous centering value of previous exam, sending value study hours and interaction term. Now you can apply moderation analysis for moderation analysis click analyze regression linear current exam is the dependent vari variable so it goes to the dependent box previous exam and study hour both shift to independent box press next and previous exam interaction time goes to independent box Next, press the button statistics, R square, change, select, uh, click, uh, colonality diagnostic, confidence interval and press the button continue, click the button OK, get the output, this output variable entered or removed, so the study hour entered, previous exam entered, first model and in second model interaction term entered, so first model explain 80.8 42. It means 84.2% variation in the outcome variable and the second variable explain this R square value is the 
0.848 it means predictor described 85% variation in the outcome variable and model is fit because ANOVA the F value is significant P is less than 0.05 so the F value of second model is also significant now the coefficient in coefficient these are the standardized values of dependent variable constant previous exam study hour in model 1 and in model 2 all unstandardized beta are significant standardized beta are significant and t values are significant so now go step by step mean centering values so mean centering value of study hour centering value is in out input and this slide shows mean centering value of previous exams so this is the previous exam mean centering value and this means uh, previous exam is in input so this is the interaction term so this one is also in input and how to apply analyze previous regression linear so this one now the dependent variable is independent box and independent variable interaction is in independent box now click statistics and select model fit or square change coordinated diagnostic estimate confidence interval and this is the output model summary coefficient and this is the results and uh, the table 1 in the moderation of the study hours between previous exam scores and current exam score so this is the model 1 and this is the value of constant in model 1 unstandardized beta values, standardized beta values and standard error and in model 2 this is the dependent variable unstandardized beta and unstandardized beta of study hour is 0.35 which is significant double steric indicate p value is less than 0.005 and uh, this one previous exam scores this is significant this is the standardized beta this is the standardized beta and interaction term unstandardized beta is 0 0.01 and standardized beta is 0 0.17 and standard error is 0 so the total R square of model 1 is 84.84 and total R square of model 2 is 0.85 and R square change is 0 0.01 in output you can see the r square change here this one 0.006 is 0.01 r square change so now the conclusion and study explain moderation of study hours between previous exam scores and ex and current exam scores so the predictor described the 84% variation in the outcome variable. This is the value of F, degree of freedom 2 and 117. So in output you can see the value of F of both model. This is the value of F and this is the degree of freedom 2 and 117. This is second model. This is the value of F. And this is the degree of freedom 3 and 116. And in model 2, the value of R square is 0.85 told that the predictor described 85% variation in the outcome with F value and previous exam scores and study hours positively predicted the current exam scores. So the previous exam score interaction term and study hours significantly predicted the current exam score 
Delta R square is the R square change. Value is 0.01 told that 1% change in the variation model 1 and model 2 with F change, delta F. You can see the value of delta F here. This is the value of R delta F change. And you can, this value is reported here. So, 116 and 4.29 p is less than 0 0.05. The finding shows that the study hour significantly moderated the relationship between previous exam scores and current exam scores. I hope this video would be helpful in understanding how to enter data in SPSS for calculating moderation analysis and reporting the results of moderation.